continuing on the topic of triangle uh, I'll be showing you how to construct a triangle ABC when giving the perimeter perimeter on the base angles the base angles are given as 45 millimeters while the perimeter is given as 120 millimeters to get started the first thing to do draw a horizontal line approximately 120 millimeters horizontal line I'm gonna start with A here from A measure mark measure 120 millimeter 125 millimeters from A to B label this point B the next step is to construct a 45 degree angle at one end on the other at the other end a 30 degree angle I will start by constructing my 45 degree angle at point A to do that open your compass to a suitable radius describe an arc Without changing the radius, place the compass at a point where the arc meets line AB. Describe your first arc. Next, I will be bisecting between the point where the arc cuts the line AB and at the 60 degree point right here. This is 60 degrees. So I'm going to bisect the 60 degree to get a 30. Then bisect between the 30 and the 60 to get my 45. To do that, I use this point as center. Describe my first arc. Without changing the radius, go up to the 60 millimeter mark. That gives me a 30. So from here to here is 30, from this point to that point that is 30, but we need 45. So I will be bisecting between the 30 and the 60 to get 45. B that 30 plus 15 is equal to 45. I adjust my compass to a suitable radius using here as center. Scrab an arc up here. Without changing the radius, using 30 degree point as center, scrap at number 2. The next step is to draw a straight line from A through the point where the 45 degree angle arc meets, right there. So this is my 45 degree angle. Of course, we could have drawn the 90 degree, then bisect. It can work either way. Next step is to go across to B. At point B, we wish to construct a 30 degree angle. First, we must construct a 60 degree angle, then bisect the 60 degree angle to get a 30 degree angle. I start by again choosing a random radius with B as center, square an arc to cut the baseline AB. At the point where the baseline meets here, square an arc. This is my 60 degree. I'm going to follow through to bisect that point. That is my 30 degree angle. The next step is to draw a line through the 30 degree point. And I will be extending this line up to cut the previous, the previous angle. So the objective is to ensure that your, your 45 degree angle cuts or meets the 30, 60 degree, 45 degree angle meets with the 30 degree angle at this point here. The next step is to bisect the 30 degree angle and also bisect the 
45 degree angle. At the point where both angles meet, we'll let us do this over. So I will be bisecting the 45 degree angle, and of course the 45 degree angle is from here to there. And I will also be bisecting the 30 degree angle. At the point where both bisector meet, we're going to draw a parallel line relative to the original line. So my first step to bisect this line, we have to be careful here because we have quite a number of lines. This to you is these two points here and there are center. Again, I extend my radius a bit. Okay, so here, one, two. This is my bisector. And again, I'm going to draw a line from line from A to my bisector. I will be using a different color for clarity. Next step is to bisect between bisect the 30 degree angle. Again, I'm using a suited radius. Extend this, this out a bit. So I go one, from here I go down two, all right. So this is the point here both arcs meet. And I draw a line from there to here. Both lines meet there. And please take note of this step. The next step is to draw a line parallel. From here, line parallel. Here, down to this point. Alright, let me try to manipulate my small board. So, the first step is to align this here. Like that. Then I'm going to draw this down to this point here. Again, I align my aesthetic square with the original triangle. I'm going to reduce, pretty much reduce the size of the triangle here to there. Then I go come across to this line. That's the first side. Again, I align my aesthetic square with that side. Then I draw that down. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to brighten up that now for clarity. So this is it. And this here will become A1, A1, B1, and or C. So this is the triangle that we generate, we have generated from the line AB. So this triangle, A, A1, B1, C, has the same, the perimeter that is, is really the same as line AB. Alright, 